wanted to go ahead and uh, make you guys a video of some of the spacers and washers that uh, most of the high output companies including ourselves are sending out um, but we'll do a little bit differently to kind of show you or explain to you where exactly these and why these certain brackets are sent so on some Toyotas and Hondas uh, they require a belt tension or a belt alignment uh, bracket that will be in the shape of, of a banana typically. This is the most universal one that most everybody sends out. And what this does is this allows for the alternators that have the ear at say 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock that this allows it to go ahead and get to that position uh, because on some of the imports there is no housing that allows us to just give you the direct lineup this banana what we call allows you to get there so what we'll do is we'll actually zip tie where this bracket is supposed to go to this bracket will actually be connected onto your manual belt tensioner. this is primarily used for the one vehicles that have the manual tensioner so this actually gets connected either behind it or in front of the alternator this you'll have to line up with your eye to determine where is the best place to go ahead and put it and the other side will get connected to your manual tensioner so basically you're looking at it connected here and then on these holes that we give you you'll determine which hole you're going to use to connect to your manual tensioner so again, on some vehicles, it actually gets mounted on the back portion of the alternator. On some other vehicles, it gets mounted on the front. On other vehicles, we'll actually go ahead and provide spacers on the bottom portion of the mounting, not on the adjustment, but on the mounting for some Hondas that require us to delete this rear foot we'll provide the actual spacer to make up that gap and same thing if it needs it we'll zip tie it directly onto the portion where it needs to be placed this basically allows us to go ahead and clock the battery post and the regulator to where it doesn't hit any ac lines we have some hondas where we need to clock this at this direction here and with this tensioner it allows the alternator to be raised up so it it moves away from the air conditioning lines so just keep in mind that if you receive this bracket it is zip tied onto the location where it's going to be used it's connected onto your manual belt tensioner if you receive these spacers it's because you're going to be using that to replace the thickness of this portion so you don't have to go ahead and look for the washers yourself we'll include it with it knowing what the size needs to be either five millimeter 10 millimeter or 17 millimeter so we're hoping that this gives you a little bit of more clarity and understanding as to why we'll provide this bracket and why everybody else does uh, that will make uh, a high output for a Toyota, a Honda, uh, even also some uh, Subarus as well. So any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, we're always trying to give everybody as much technical information as possible. Um, but if there is something that we are amiss on, uh, call us. Uh, we have an 800 number. 800-345-4952, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 Pacific time. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys if there is a question or concern. Um, we see a lot of people that will post on the social media pages, and general consensus that we see is 90% of the people giving feedback are incorrect. So also some manufacturers will chime in, but they don't necessarily know what your application is. So please call us we're happy to help you we're happy to explain to you the spacers and the bracket as well uh, once again thanks again for you guys' time appreciate you guys' support you guys all have a great day